Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to share with you, I talked before about a behavior plan that I started with my son. My son has autism. So I just want to share with you how is it working and how I'm, what I'm doing and how I'm implementing this in my home school. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. I have two, child, two kids, a eight year old and a 16 year old, and all my videos are about homeschooling, especially homeschooling kids with disabilities. So make sure if you're new to stick around, subscribe and hit on the notification bell. So today I wanted to share what I'm doing as a behavior plan for my son. My son got diagnosed with autism last year. We had a really rough first two years of school. Now he's doing a lot better, but I wanna fine tune some things and we still have some rough days, but not as many as we did before. So he is in ABA therapy and some of the things that I talk are things that we have started with ABA and things that um, that I decided to incorporate at home. And then he also, you know, is doing it on, you know, on ABA just to help with his behavior. This is mostly thing that we're working on right now with his applied behavior analysis. Therapy is behavior. He has mastered almost all, all his goals. This child is able to do so much but his behavior is holding him back from progressing in school, from you know progressing in, in a couple things. So I decided just to try different things. So when my son, he wakes up in the morning, he has there's some certain things that I want him to do. And for the things that he does, I'm doing school where he's been earning uh, you know, tickets. I shared in a different video already what he does for, for his school. And his thing that he likes to do, the things he is obsessed about, the thing that, you know, that keeps him regulated, thing he does most of the day, unless he's playing, we go to the park, we're doing something, he's playing video games. And it's, been, it's hard, it, it, this is what he does most of the day after he goes to school or, you know. So, but of course I need him to do school and he knows he needs to do school before he gets to play video games. And this has been a hard, working we've been working through this so much and it is so hard and it's still some days are really hard but it's it's been getting better so when so we are doing you know tickets the ticket system i'm sure you've seen this before in, in if you were in school or if you if you you know if your kids were in you know in you know public school before um so i decided to do a you know ticket system for him where he gets tickets for doing different things throughout the day or not exhibiting some behaviors throughout the day. And then he gets to earn things where he has a little kind of a virtual store where he gets to pick things that he wants, okay? And just, uh, these are things that he likes. So, uh, you know, every day uh, he has a schedule that I've been writing for him on a notebook. We don't do visual schedule with pictures. I just have a notebook for him. And you know that notebook system, I write for him the chores that he has to do in the morning, which he is, he needs to, when he gets up, he needs to get dressed, he needs to make his bed, he needs to feed the dog, and he needs to brush his teeth. So the four things that he needs to do, he checks them off. And for each of those things that he does, he's gonna get one ticket. So I have a little ticket. So I have a little ticket jar here, and when he does those things, he gets his tickets. After that, he has to do school. He cannot play video games before he does his school. Sometimes he might do his work right away because he wants to play. And if he finishes by nine, he's done by nine and he can go play. But some days he starts asking for the video game. I just ignore him if we're doing something, work, and he starts talking about he wants to play video games, it's, it's hard. But I just kind of stop and just kind of let him He realize that unless you do this, you're not getting that. So he does his schoolwork and then he gets his. So if he does his school, if he completes all his schoolwork for the day, I have a little chart here, he gets three tickets. But if he needs to do his schoolwork also with a calm body and inside voice, because sometimes he is screaming or he is just going all over the place or he's scribbling on him, then he starts to scribble on his paper. I need him to do his work, but I need him to do it well. But so if he does his work, he gets three tickets, but he can get two extra ones if he does it with a calm body, inside voice, and he's following directions of what he needs to do. 
Um, so those are the daily chores that I've talked at the beginning. Then we have some weekly chores. He learned how, you know, he knows how to wash his clothes. So he'll wash his clothes. Um, we're still going to teach him how to fold it, but he's getting better at, you know, at washing them on his own. So he gets one ticket and on Wednesdays he needs to take it to recycling out with me into the street or with my husband. So he gets another ticket for that. Uh, for school, if he completes all his work, three tickets, and read. if he reads independently, he does it right before bed, so he gets two tickets for that, if he reads independently the night before. Which, you know, he told me the other day, why do I have to get tickets for independent reading? Like, he likes to read, so, but anyways, extra tickets, right? So, then he can for his behavior. Uh, I have for him, did, uh, I kept my glasses on my face. When he gets upset, he takes his glasses and he slams, slams them, so probably. This one's haven't broke. But anyways, he takes them and he throws them. So at the end of the day, we reflect on our day. Did we keep our glasses on our face? If he did, then he gets a ticket. Did I keep a hands on myself? If he didn't hit, he gets a ticket. Did, we're working on this. Um, he needs, he likes to fall asleep with his lights on. We're trying to work on going back to sleeping with his lights off. But that, did I go and take a bath without arguing? Which he's better at this. It took us a while to get here, but but he gets a ticket for that and and, and then the last one did i do my school with a calm body can't, calm voice and inside voice of, you know so he gets another ticket at the end of the week he counts his tickets and he can buy something from our store like he can get you know candy for 20 tickets or get a book or a lego set so depending on what it is is more tickets like he wanted to buy some like mine coins with some virtual coins for minecraft or robots for roblox uh, so that was 100 tickets and he was he earned 100 tickets but they said that he wanted to wait a little bit so he can have a head start for the next prize but so depending on what it is it's going to be more like if he wants a video game it's going to be 350 tickets it's going to take a couple weeks to get there so the more expensive the the gift or the reward the more time he's going to have to earn them so I have things in here, like uh, I do a chore for him, uh, or no chores for one day. He likes to have sleepovers with mommy, but uh, I visit to the Children's Museum. He's been wanting to go back, hang out with dad, or an extra hour, or a video game at night. But he's mostly, the, the three things I know he's gonna be working for is a video game, mine coins, and Roblox through the whole thing. So everything else is just kind of there, but it's okay. So, so that's what, happens and he was before when he is in um when when he's doing therapy we started doing this every day at, at first but now he only does it when he's in therapy uh he earns just little stars little tokens throughout throughout the session and every 30 minutes he gets a token if he you know if he's doing everything he has to do we have a timer if he doesn't do what he has to do we start a timer again but uh, to earn his, you know, video game time. So unless he gets to play throughout the session, if he earns it. But uh, this, he is only been. We only been doing this now for his therapy. For home, when it's just me and him, and not you know with a therapist. As as long as he's done his work, I feel like we don't have to do this because. He's done his work, what else are we gonna do? You know, he's not a kid who's gonna go play. He, he doesn't like to play by himself. Sometimes he'll play Lego, but that like, doesn't happen very often anymore. So if it's just me and him, he has to do his chores in the morning, he gets a ticket. He has to do his, his you know, schoolwork, he gets a ticket for that. And you know, all, all the tickets and after he's done. If he's done everything that I have on that notebook for him, then he can go play. This morning, yeah, it took him longer to you know get those tickets like this morning it took him he he gets focused ultra focused on something that's all he thinks about is all he talks about so we had a really really rough morning and there was a point i said okay we've been talking about this for like two hours three hours let's go to the park we went to the park and then we came back and he did his work so it took him all this time we, he started playing video games a little later but he did his work so he was able to play Sometimes that this comes with the autism world. He gets obsessed about something. He was upset about something that he couldn't do in his game last night. And anyways, and he was just focused on that and focused and focused. And that's all he talked about. And after a while, he kind of gave it up. We went to the park. After we came back, he was fine. He did his work. So I was, I, you know, I let him play. So at the end of the day, what we're gonna do? Sometimes I, I give him the tickets right right away. But sometimes, like you know, I. Uh, today has been a crazy day um 
we'll go through each one at the end of the day. Okay, did you make your bed this morning? Which I don't think he did this morning, actually. One of those mornings, so he'll get a ticket. So he won't get a ticket today because he didn't do his bed. Um, did he feed the dog this morning? He was in, in that mood. I fed the dog, so he doesn't get that ticket. But he still have a chance to feed it in the afternoon. So all of those things. So we'll go through this. Like today, he didn't keep his hands on himself, to himself and he didn't keep his glasses on himself, on, on his face. So he doesn't get those tickets for the day because he didn't, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he did this behaviors that I, I, I don't want him to, you know, do. So he doesn't get the ticket. And he seems to be working and really wants to get all these tickets to be able to get because we give him good prices. We get video games and stuff like that, but it is expensive, but you know, we are able to do it. So if it, if it works for us and we are, you know, we have the means to be able to do that, then we, we're gonna do it because I think our sanity is more important at this moment. So yeah, so this is his behavior plan. This is what we do. Um, oh yeah, and I show you a little, you know, uh, tickets here. So every day we put the tickets, this is the ticket bank, and then we take them out and we count them. So yeah, so he already earned his first, his first, you know, thing. He got some mine coins and he still has some in here. So yes, yeah, so this is what we're doing as our behavior system. I don't like to call it behavior system, kind of a ticket system for, for my son with autism. And it's, so far it's working. Things work for a while and then it might stop working, but we're gonna keep at it and we have to be consistent. And I've been, been pretty consistent and I've been holding my, my own about if you don't do your work and staying calm, I'm sorry you can't play. And he finally gives in and does his work. Sometimes, you know, it's hard and he's all over the place, but he's doing it. He's doing pretty good this year, so far. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so this is it. If you have any questions, post them below. If you're a mom of a child with autism, you have another ideas, please share them with me. This is new to me. And even if I, I am a special education teacher by, by profession, it's hard when it's your own child and it's hard to come up with things sometimes for me. And uh, so if you have any ideas, post them below, please. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.